How to press a touch-sensitive elevator button without touching it. In my office place, the elevator can only be called and or operated by buttons that are touch-sensitive. Pressing them with gloves or my jacket won't work. With current affairs going on, even though I thoroughly wash my hands, I really don't like to press these buttons with my skin. My current workaround is taking the stairs, not always practical, or waiting for someone that needs to get to the same floor, with which I have some moral issues. Is there any practical way to operate these touch-sensitive buttons without actually touching them with my skin? Your biggest problem is not the touch-sensitive button, but your justified fear of contracting germs. My quick hack for all kinds of surfaces that must be touched but aren't clean is to use the back of my hand or my finger. Dot. You can push mechanical and touch operated buttons by curling in your finger and pressing the back of a finger joint or knuckle to the button. You might still catch some germs this way, but they stay on the back of your hand until you wash them away. Whenever you touch your face, scratch an itch or rub your eyes, you usually use the inside of your hand and fingertips. As long as you remember not to rub your eyes with the back side of your hand, the risk of contracting the germs is reduced compared to pushing the button with your fingertip. Of course, this does not eliminate the need to wash your hands. It just reduces the risk of accidentally bringing germs in contact with your face before you washed your hands.